All right, let's talk about polystyrene. What is it? What do we use it for? Polystyrene, like many of the others before, it looks a lot like polyethylene, except this time we remove one of the hydrogens and we're going to place a benzene ring in its place. The benzene ring is one of these big six-membered carbon rings, right? So that's a carbon, 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 and carbon. Each of these has a hydrogen coming off of it. So if you do the math, if you're counting electrons or counting bonds, each of these only has three bonds. So because of that, we have to introduce double bonds, alternating double bonds. Now each carbon has four bonds and it's satisfied. So this is a pretty big side group. It's a pretty big chunky side group uh, that this has. Here in this picture, you can see these big side groups sticking off the sides there of this, of this otherwise chain that's going that way. So that's polystyrene. Now polystyrene comes in a couple different forms. There's polystyrene, which you've seen before, like plastic yogurt cups or this plastic cup here, that's polystyrene. But it's probably more common that you've seen it as styrofoam, right? You've seen this before styrofoam. Um, it's probably much more commonly used as styrofoam. Um, what do we know about it? So it can be rigid or as a foam. If it's rigid, then it's hard, it's clear, it's brittle. It's not an amazing plastic. Um, it has pretty poor barrier properties to water vapor and oxygen. When it's used as a foam, it has lots of really cool applications because in foam, this thing weighs nothing, extremely light, because this is actually 95 to 98% air. Most of this is air with just very small amounts of polymer forming bubbles or spheres or cells um, around the air pockets, right? So when you have that much air in a material in tiny little pockets of a little bit of polymer, what you get is a really, really poor thermal conductor. It does not conduct heat very well, and that's why we use it. We make coffee cups out of this, right? Because you can hold it in your hand and you don't burn your hand, right? Even if the coffee's really hot. We make insulation out of it. You can spray this in the attic of your home and now you have a thermal barrier that keeps the heat from escaping because it's a poor conductor of heat. We use it uh, for, mostly for insulation purposes, right? Its mechanical properties are not great. It does have some pretty good low temperature processing. You can melt this pretty easy. In fact, the way that I'm able to make these nice cuts on this uh, styrofoam is with a iron wire, right? Just like we did previously, we showed you that the iron wire can heat up if you pass electricity through it. All I did is I take between these screws and I put some uh, electrical wires and I take those over to a nine volt battery and this can cut right through it like butter, right? Um, in fact, styrofoam is used for a lot of reasons because you can shape it easily with thermal properties. Like for example, this awesome Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Guardian helmet that I made for my kid for Halloween, right? is pretty slick because I was able to make it out of styrofoam. So you can shape it into lots of different shapes really easily at quite low cost. So at low temperatures, you can turn it into a, a liquid. It melts and then you can process it. You can expand it. You can introduce those pores that give it its polystyrene, so styrofoam uh, structure. Um, you've got uh, that it was discovered in 1944 by Dow Chemical. Um, one of the disadvantages of styrofoam is that it is soluble by many, many organic solvents, right? Very easily soluble. Um, so you do have to watch out for that. Another challenge is that it is not biodegradable. There have been some studies recently where they have, you know, different types of worms can eat it. But for the most part, it's very likely if you put it in the landfill, it's going to stay in the landfill. And that's a challenge. And another thing is you can't recycle it very easily. The reason you can't recycle this is because you have these big, uh, you know, rings on the side, right? And so you have to pyrolyze those and pyrolysis requires high temperatures. So you actually heat this up to 430 degrees Celsius to pyrolyze it. At those temperatures, it stops being economically practical, which is why we don't recycle styrofoam right now. Um, nevertheless, uh, a fascinating polymer and has really unique properties, relatively low cost, extremely low density, and the great low thermal conductivity, which makes it great for a lot of applications.